XA Developer TV, what is going on? My name is Kevin, aka The Tech Ninja. Now, before I get into my whole spiel about what I gotta say is so awesome, I went to the XDA DevCon just last week and it was really, really good. It was my first time going down there. I met a lot of the viewers here, I met a lot of people from the forums as well. So, next year, make sure you make your way down because it was so much fun. I had a chance to try out some unreleased products. If you guys do have a chance, make your way down. It was well worth the trip. And I met some people that are more nerdy than me. My girlfriend is happy about that. So today I'm talking about a phone that you may have heard about, but you may have not seen in person or seen it in video. It's the Oppo Find 5. I was able to get one at XDA DEF CON. So after using it for a little bit, I realized that this phone is made for us. I can safely say that the Oppo Find 5 is one of the best Android phones you've never seen. The first thing that will grab your attention is the display. The Oppo 5 is a 5 inch IPS LCD panel, 1080p resolution and 441 PPI and perfect viewing angles. By the way, 441 PPI is the highest PPI on any mobile device, phones and tablets included. The display easily beats out any display I have ever seen on any phone or tablet period. And that is really saying a lot for this unknown manufacturer. It has a unibody display that feels sturdy in the hands, 2 gigabytes of RAM, Android 4.1 running a Snapdragon A4 processor at 1.5 gigahertz, 2500 milliamp battery, NFC, Wi-Fi direct, works on GSM networks globally, and all the normal fixings you would expect in a high-end phone. I can really tell you this, that the Oppo team really pays attention to detail. But what makes this phone even better? It comes already unlocked. It's easy to install custom recovery and a custom ROM on the device. The makers of this device works closely with the XDA community and they really listen to what the community wants. All right, folks, now that we're here, we need to download a few things. So in the description below, I'm going to have a zip file that will have the instructions of what we're doing here, basically these files. So these files I was able to find from the Apple forms. This is just the ADB debugging and also recovery, TWRP. So what you need to do is you need to click and drag these directly to your device, just like a flash drive. You need to click and drag and drop them right on your device. Once they're done loading your device, we're gonna put your device in bootloader. To get in bootloader, you just hold the power button down and need to go ahead and hold the up arrow at the same time and hold it down till you get to a screen that says, well, it's some, some Chinese lettering right here, fast boot. So Chinese lettering, fast boot. And then go ahead and plug this device into your computer. You can't have it plugged in first, you need to plug it in after it says fast boot. Now once you do that, we can go ahead and go back into our location with all of our files. We can shift, right click, and then go to open command window here. And that's going to open this guy. That's basically going to uh, open a command prompt in this location. So what we're going to do, we're going to do fast boot, flash, recovery, and then the name of this recovery file right here. Now there is an option to do uh, Clockwork Mod as well. Um, I am a TWRP guy, but Clockwork Mod works just just as well. So um, if you want to do Clockwork Mod. Um, the file is actually located here as well, and you can replace this recovery TWRP with recovery-cwming. And like I said, these are not my files. These are files I found on the Oppo form as well, uh, but these are pretty much open for anyone to use. So, um, so this is our location right here. Just go ahead and press enter. And right now, all it's doing is writing our new recovery over, and it just finished. It only took a few seconds. At this point, we do the up arrow and the power button to get us get the phone to reboot. And then we do the down arrow at the power button at the same time to get us into recovery. And then we are greeted with our team whim or our clockwork mod. Now at this point, I recommend doing a backup. So just go ahead and press on backup and then swipe to do a backup. Once your backup's complete, now we can go ahead and flash your new ROM. Hopefully you guys realized how easy it was to put a custom recovery 
right on the phone and also flash your favorite ROM. So as I said, this phone is made for us because it's easy to use. You don't have to unlock anything. It's, it's ready to go. Um, after speaking with the guys from Oppo, it seems like that's what they really want to do. Make a phone that everyone can use and that the tech users like us can actually go ahead and unlock it and do what we want with it and the XDA things that we do. All right, guys, that is it. You can follow me on Twitter at Tech Ninja Speaks. Also, check out my website if you want. Go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel, XCA Developers TV. There's tons of great videos on here. We have people that do app reviews, and, and Adam does a teardown. He's actually going to tear down the brand new Apple phone that's not released yet. Um, I heard it may have the new Qualcomm chip in it, but I can't confirm nor deny. And go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I'm The Tech Ninja. Type it in YouTube. It comes right up. That is it, folks. Till next time. See you later. Peace.